With Kim Man's transition to the new beta version just around the corner, we wanted to give you a sneak peek at the new updates we've made. We strongly recommend that you get a head start on the beta version before we transition to it fully. If you're unsure how to do so, simply log into your Kim Man account and look for the text in the upper left hand corner that says, looking for the most recent updates. You'll see a link there that you can click on, which will then allow you to log into the beta version. Our current classic version and the beta version both use the same databases. If you need to jump between the two while learning how to use a beta, there's no need to worry about any lost information. These new updates have a lot of strong quality of life improvements in mapping as well as the beginnings of our new dispatching system. The new Kim Man will come with quite a few improvements to the mapping process. Under Setup, Manage Field Locations, we've improved the functionality of our search bars. You will notice we now have a drop-down for both crops and airport strips, allowing easier selection for searching. The customer search bar has also been improved, allowing you to search multiple customer names at once, providing you all the locations owned by either customer. We've improved the map selected location system, allowing you a faster viewing of more locations than in Classic. Let's go ahead and take a look. First, let's use the search bar to search for a customer who owns locations we wish to map. Then click on the Select by Map button. If you want to zoom into a specific area, you can hold your Shift key down and then draw a box using your left mouse button. Our map will zoom into the area within the box you've drawn. Here we can select on locations by clicking on their polygons on the map or their labels, allowing you to quickly save a map file or print off a cluster of locations. Locations with multiple polygons will now show acres per individual shape on the map. We have enhanced the drawing tools as well to help you create more precise locations. You can also now toggle the Section Township range borders on and off while creating locations, making it easier to locate the exact field you are looking for. We've also made the new addition of the Quick Edit button. This allows you to quickly change information ranging from the customer associated with the field to the crops assigned to the field. You can also use the Quick Edit button to set your fields to show no default crops. The Quick Edit button also allows you to change the status of multiple fields, giving you quick access to making fields inactive if you need to. We've also made some improvements to how Kim Man handles applied log files. We've updated the search bar for log files, improving the overall accuracy of your results, as well as allowing you to search by invoice numbers to find your spray data. KMZ and KML files can now also be uploaded as spray data. And with our new Map Selected Logs button, you can select multiple spray files and view them on a map without needing to match them to jobs. We've also created a new method of attaching your log files. You can now attach an applied log file directly to your invoice. To do so, find your job in the Unposted Invoices or Job Scheduling, click on the brown button beside Applicator, click on the Attach Log Files. On this new page, you can upload your applied data files and they will automatically match the job you selected. Our latest update also introduced the beginnings of our dispatching system. You can now go to Job Scheduling and click on either the Map View List or the Map View Full buttons. The list version will give you a list with the invoice numbers, whereas the full version only shows the map. On these maps, you can click on the polygons on the map to select jobs or parts of a job and then click on Dispatch Selected to create an enhanced applicator report of the jobs for your pilot. On this report, you can print it off or save the map files required to spray the fields. That concludes the additions our latest update has provided, so now we would like to go over some exciting updates coming in the future for Kim Man. 
Our dispatching system will have quite a few additions in the future, including the ability to assign specific applicators to a group of jobs, as well as the ability to mass edit the loader worksheet for multiple jobs. We also plan to release a pilot view mode, making it easier for a pilot to fly and submit completion of his assigned jobs. We also have more options coming for our obstruction system. We are looking into more overlays for some of the more common obstructions, as well as adding the ability to upload a CSV file of your custom obstructions. If you have any questions, feel free to give our support team a call. You can reach us at 870-238-9222. Thanks.